My next guest has written for GQ, British Vogue, Interview Magazine. He hosts the podcast Shut Up Evan and the Brights Newsletter by the same name. He's a pop culture expert, commentator, aficionado, disciple, whatever you want to call him. His, his Instagram is the Bible of pop culture. Please give it up for Evan Ross Katz! <laughs> Evan! Everyone's really excited to hear. Yes! I think you're, how does it feel to be popular just to have good taste? <laughs> I think there's no way to, to good, no good way to answer that question. Uh, it feels... Good. Yeah, it feels good. Do you think taste is cultivated by like, is it somewhat genetic or is it really like all we consume as kids and like when we're growing up and that's how we kind of form it? No, I don't think taste is genetic. I think taste is... <laughs> Developed by figuring out your own sensibility and not feeling influenced by others, and then developing, a, you know, a, either a following or a community of people with like-minded tastes to you sort of work in conversation with and you know to hone exactly what it is you like and don't like. But there's not good taste and bad taste. Right. It's just okay. And uh, so Mike White called you the most valuable hype man in TV. And I have a question: If a person woke up from a coma and was like, Evan. I want to watch one TV show in the past year. What would you say to him? Oh, wow. Uh, probably Jerry Doody. Yeah, okay, yeah. Woo! I don't think you would say that because it, it was the most genre bending kind of new show that happened this past year. Yeah, I think it's really hard to do anything like new in the television space. And I feel like Jerry Doody, although there are like influences like the Joe Schmo show and stuff, I feel like it was incredibly original, it was a very high wire act, and I feel like they achieved the impossible. No, I, to I totally agree. Um, you know, the last time there were the strikes, I think people credit it with kind of bringing about kind of the proliferation of reality TV and more of the Housewives and all the, all the shows we love on Bravo. What do you hope, was there a trend of TV that was happening before the strikes? Do you, you hope that maybe when we come back that that's going to be what is, is made more? Is there anything you're, you, you've seen before? I just want more low budget stuff. I feel like we've, I, you just played that like clip from that Game of Thrones spinoff that I've yeah. ever seen. House of Dragon? Yeah, that was wild. Um, <laughs> I don't need any more high budget stuff. I feel like we have enough of that. So I want to see more stuff like Jerry Duty. Well, that, I mean, that's the lesson these studios are learning. They're spending a kajillion dollars on the Rings of Power and House of the Dragon and Wheel of Time, and then no one is watching them or subscribing to their. Uh, but they can't afford it, right? Yeah. What, what, so recently, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Hudson, Bill Maher all retracted their recent statement saying they were going to come right. back. Yeah. What do you think about the, the criticism Drew Barrymore received in particular? I felt like she got the brunt of, I, I disagree with her. I don't think she should come back. But she got the brunt of uh, the hate. Then there were other people who views that, that have that are, that been back already. Well, I think she did a bad thing. I agree. I think people do bad things. I think that we want to cultivate a society in which people that do bad things and repent for that, their bad things are given the space to then be better and do better. She did the right thing eventually. I understand the argument of too little, too late. I understand the too late component. I don't understand the too little component. Yeah. I ultimately am in favor of people that adhere to the strike, which she Agreed. is not doing. So. Yeah, no, it's good. It was kind of like, it was a good to see like her actually respond to like public sentiment. Um, Can I say one more thing about yeah. that though? I feel like there was a lot of like, bad faith takes when it came to Drew. I we, agree, yeah. We've known Drew for her entire life. Yeah. Um, I think we can say we know the person that she is to an extent, you know, to the most extent you can know a famous person. I think we know where her heart is. I feel like a lot of people were thinking the worst because they were comparing her to like a Bill Maher or something. Right. And I feel like people could have given her a little bit more credit to come to the conclusion. Granted, it could have been quicker, but right. she's there. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, she's from a Hollywood family. She's a woman. I just felt like, you know, I, I disagree with what she was doing, but I felt she got a lot of hate when Bill Maher was kind of, I mean, he's just an asshole. So he can do whatever he wants. Um, you famously wrote, um, Every Generation of Slayer is Born, How Buffy Staked Our Hearts, um, a book about your favorite show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, what about Buffy hit you so hard as a TV show? It's funny because I have like, such a different relationship with Buffy now, having written the book. Um, yeah. Uh, what hit me? Um, Sarah Michelle Gellar. I think that there's no actor 
with her breadth of talents on the screen at that time. Um, and then, again, this was before Prestige Television, um, a year before SJ would go on to, and the women of Sex and the City. Um, I feel like Buffy tonally just did not ascribe to a single tone, and I feel like it was able to be horror and comedy and drama and romance, and I also feel like it dignified teens. I didn't know anything else besides my so-called life. That was another show for me, but like, I didn't know anything that treated teenagers like their feelings were real and mattered. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen Buffy. Oh. I know, I'm, when I watch, I listen to a lot of his podcasts, I, I'm now, I'm a read the newsletter, I, I'm now gonna watch it because of you, which is good. They say that? Like, let's check it. Ah. Okay. Um, I will say, though, like, Buffy's good from the beginning, so yeah. I don't think it's going to, like, take you time to warm up to it. No, I, I'm sure I like it. Uh, I was 